Once again, let's delve deeper into lesson number 34. Throughout the Revelation, John has both encouraged and warned. We certainly need encouragement as we live in Babylon. It's so hard to live a no compromise life, not getting caught up with the economic tra traps of, of Babylon or, or her approval and everything egoism. Now, in the first four chapters of Revelation, John is told to give Jesus' message to believers. And it's stay true, stay faithful, keep on keeping God. Even if they're going to take your life, remain loyal. See, what you do matters. You know, there's this lie within the church. And the lie is that you can recite a sinner's prayer, accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior, and then get yourself blessed in the comforts of Babylon. It is to the overcomers of Babylon's temptations that the rewards come. To be overcome is to be blinded to the reality that you have made an intellectual ascent to belief in God, but you have a lifestyle that refutes your belief. Jesus told us the parable of the wise and the foolish builder. He said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do what I say? I will show you who it is like, who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice. He's like a man who builds his house up and dug down deep and laid it on a rock foundation. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words does not put them into practice. It's like a man who built his house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed, and it was a destruction that was complete. What you do matters. And if you miss this truth, then one day you'll stand before a great white throne.